what's going on guys it's Craven King here back again for another video and today we are starting a new series on the channel today we are starting railroads online this is a new game it just came out I made a tutorial video a couple days ago on how to make a railroad crossing in this game It's basically a little bit of a sneak peek for this series to come but here we are episode one of railroads online so let's get into it let me just get out of third person so I've been playing for a about four or five days now in the game so I have the tier 2 porter and I have the rail line that goes all the way to the logging camp that's it that's all I've done so we have from here to the logging camp just so I had some basic tracks set up for episode 1 so we can run a couple of trains so as you can see uh, the name of our railroad I decided to go with the Pine Mountain Railroad. So the Pine, then the MT abbreviation for Mountain. So the Pine Mountain Railroad. And over here we have the engine we spawn with. We got Betsy right here. I retired Betsy as soon as I got the Tier 2 Porter. So Betsy's over here as the Freight Depot mascot. Fully retired from service. But I am going to take some wood that I have still on her and fill up our uh, new engine. Old number 2 over here. So let me just uh, do that real quick. Get this nice and filled back up. Probably should have done that before we started recording, but it don't matter. Huh. I didn't even know you could load from that side. The more you know. Alright, and... Should be almost there. Yeah, one more load should do it. So we're going to get all these on, good, and then I'm going to grab this uh, set right here, going to toss it into the fire, make sure, uh, there we go, make sure that we have plenty of stuff in the fire, and uh, we're going to be uh, pulling a, a six car log train here, and we're probably going to go for a triple logs. And then maybe we'll start building our way to the sawmill, and I think I think that's a good thing to start off with for episode one. So, let's do it. So we're gonna put our reverser to forward, and then we want to pull our cylinder cocks, and then let's go. Ease on the throttle and brake. And some bell. I like how I can uh, sit like right here. And I can still be in first person. We can get a good view out. All right. Now all the tracks were switched and lined accordingly, so we are just good to go. Right. So, uh, we're gonna, we can, there we go, get the cylinder cocks off, we should be good to go now. And uh, I got some comments in my tutorial on how to make a railroad crossing. I got some comments saying they want to see it in action as proof that it works and doesn't derail. So uh, once we bring the train back to the depot, I have a crossing on the other side, so I will show that off. So, uh, let's go, probably, no, bring that, there. There we go. Controls, since it's early access, controls and hitbox are still a little off. But my goodness, I love the controls. So I actually work for railroads in real life as a job, and uh, I've had the opportunity of operating some steam engines. So yeah, this is 100% what it's like in real life. I, uh, I've operated some steam engines, the reverser, the throttle, everything. It's just like this. This is pretty much, you just don't have to worry about the the gauge is too much, which is something that you do have to worry about in real life. But other than that, the main controls, they're in the same spots, but this is exactly how you would operate a steam engine in real life. Anyways, we got a nice cruising speed here. Probably a little more. This is some pretty straight track. We can kick up the speed a bit more. 
Yeah, I did. I did quite a bit of work before uh, starting the series, enough to get me this tier two porter with headlights. That was uh, three thousand five hundred dollars there. And basically, what I did was I just continued hauling these logs back and forth, and I also took a little bit of cordwood back and forth as well. So we have these six carts right here for logs, and I have two cordwood carts that are still over at the log camp. But yeah. Our next thing is we're going to want to get some carts for pulling planks, and we need to get over to the to the uh, sawmill, which this is a switch right here. Straight ahead would take us to the sawmill soon, and then right now it's switched to take us to the uh, logging camp. So this is, we're swapping over to the Timber Valley Spur, as I like to call it, to get over to the Timber Valley logging camp. Now this little section right here after the turn is the steepest part of the grade, but we shouldn't have to worry too much. I was able to make it up this easy. So, it's a gradual 2%, but that upcoming turn there is the steepest part. But we should be good. I haven't needed to use sand yet at all, so I think we're good. Yeah, I can hear these a little more, so just put that reverser up. That's all we need. So all I do is I just move that reverser up so it uses more power, but I keep the throttle the same. So we just get more power per rotation instead of more speed, and that's all we need. Now we can set this back. There we go, that's a good spot. And then this little section right here was that, that little turn there was the steepest part. We're good to go. We can make it up this easy. Oh yeah. I can hear old number two here. Really trying, but it'll make it just fine. Yeah, we made it up, no problem. Look at this. Beautiful. And uh, this trestle that we're about to go on, this took me like six and a half, seven hours to build. Laying track in this game is very, very time consuming if it's done right. And I made sure to do this track as well as I could. That way, because I have plans to get a mogul eventually in the series and I want to make sure that all of my track is fit to run a mogul without derailing so I'm putting extra time and effort into the rails uh, give it a little toot toot Also, the windows you can open and close. If you hold at the right angles, you can actually open and close the uh, windows, as you can see. So, there you go. Bet you didn't know that. So, let's keep going. We're about to reach the second grade. This one's not as steep as the first one. It's a 2%, same as the first one, but it's able to be spread out a little more, so it's not as steep a 2%. So, this one, I shouldn't even have to touch the the reverser. We should just be able to cruise up this no problem. Yeah, look at that. Easy. You don't even have to worry. Nice log train, though. I love it when these things are fully loaded. It looks so good. And then here's the second trestle. This one took me only about four or so hours to build. It took a little, It's much shorter. It took so much time to get to line up with the log camp. And we are going to want to slow down. Because we are approaching the switch that will either set us to the cordwood side or the log side now. I already have it set to the log side because cordwood's taken by the cordwood cars. So we're already lined ahead for logs. So that's not a problem. There we go. We just gotta get some of that bell action. I love this. But yeah, here we are, the logging camp. There we go. Just gotta pull right in. Get some more bell. There we go. And I love how the bell's affected by gravity. There's a slight little slope here, so the bell won't swing forward all the way, so it only does the single clap. Which I really like. We can, uh, a little more 
bottle. See, now that we're off the slope, it'll double clap. I like that. I love how gravity is affected in this game. It, they did such a good job. Everything's affected by it. It's so good. A little more forward, a little more power. But we want to stay nice and slow as we pull in here. There we go. And uh, I know lots of other YouTubers have been doing this lately. They build like a giant circle that goes around to the cordwood side. I was not a big fan of that. The turn's really tight to make it all the way around, or I have to make it a giant balloon. It was just not something that I really found uh, that I wanted to end up doing myself. So I, what I decided to do was do a run around instead, which I'll be showing that off in a minute. And we're gonna wanna cut throttle. Bring back reverser, little throttle. The cylinder cocks and stop. And this. Alright, yeah. Let's see which cars those load. Because I know these things are also a little janky on hitboxes. So which ones are these going to load? Okay, so that's loading the far one. Alright, so we're fine then. So we're going to need to put on these handbrakes. I want to put handbrakes on... Just the first one should be enough since we're only going to run around. Uh, switch is already set, so we are going to pull the pin, and we are going to pull forward again, just make sure that's enough, cylinder cock sand, there we go, and there we go, and we're going to run around, pull it forward past the switch, back it up and tack it onto the back end, and then we're going to pull it back once it's fully loaded. Cut off the cylinder box now. And yes, YouTube, that is what they're called. The name of that is called a cylinder cock. And there we go, we can put the brake on. Perfect, so we're gonna switch this. There we go. And then we'll just pull it past. And we'll have to throw that far switch in the distance and send it back. Alright, so next thing we have to do, put on our rear headlight. So, like that. Come on. Just gotta do it fast enough. Come on. It'll light eventually. There it goes. So, this headlight's on. We're not going to turn the front one off until we've coupled on the back side. So let's uh, get this reverse. Alright. There we go. Get us moving. A little more throttle. A little more reverser. And we're on our way. Nice, easy speed. Yeah. I love the headlights, so when I, as soon as I had the option to get the tier 2 port, I'm like, no, 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 I'm totally going to get with the one with the headlights, because the headlights are so awesome. There we go. We turn off the cylinders, and we're going to keep going. And we're going to stop it about here. And then we're going to throw the switch back that way. It's already set up for our next trip. Because by then I'm probably going to forget and derail. So swap back so we're clear. And then we just got to take old number two back. And let's go. Cylinders. And let's go. There we go. And we should pick up speed pretty quick. This is a good straightaway. There we go. And goes off. And yeah, so this is how I do it. I like to run around the train. And then uh, tack it back on. So let's start slowing down.
Perfect. So we gotta throw this switch and we'll be good. There we are. And then we'll start loading these puppies up. Alright. And let's go. I don't even have to put the throttle on that much because this little section right here has a slight grade to it. I'm thinking it was like 0.5 or 0.7 grade, but it's just enough that it gets me rolling. So I don't really have to throttle. And we'll put this on. Good stop. Throw the switch back, and we're good to go. We'll couple this up. Uh, probably should get my link set, and let's go. There we go, a little more. Start that and pull the cylinders, and let's go. There we are. And this should be all we need to get there. I love this game. This is an insane game. And uh, by the looks of the recording time, we'll probably make this trip of logs for episode 1. And that means episode 2 I can record right after this, where we start building to the, uh, to the logging camp. And I can just let this coast, turn off the cylinders, and we can just coast this in. And I can stop right here for a safety stop. Safety stop. Uh, this one. Uh, no, hang on. I didn't... This one already had a link in it. Let me back this up a bit so I can pull out the link. I should just be able to coast this back. There we go. Just enough of a rollback that I can... Get access. Alright, so this one. Get rid of that. Alright, good. We'll shunt this back in. I couldn't remember if I had one in here or not, so. There we go. And I don't need to pull the cylinder cocks because we're not going too far. So you can just let that roll. Oh, wait, that was break. Uh, yeah, even I sometimes get a little confused. There we go. That should be enough. Yep, there we go. And then, and we're coupled up. All right. So next thing we'll do, we uh, will crouch so we can get to the headlight. And we're going to, come on now. A left mouse button, drag up. There it goes. Then we're going to put out our front headlight because we don't need it now because we're facing into the train. And now we'll get these loading and I'll release that handbrake. And then we're going to load these up. So, handbrake. Handbrake's released. Good. So, the train's only being held by the loco brake. So, that's good. That's all we need. And now we'll uh, load this thing up with logs. And uh, my cordwood and stuff is right over here. I'm not walking through that log pile again. I learned the first time not to do that. So, we'll just get these. But I will uh, run around this. Can I jump over them? Yeah, I can get over these. And we'll get these. I need to finish up my little turnaround right here. I have a temporary firewood depot here. That way I can get tons of firewood for the loco. So there we go. Grab another handful of wood for the fire. There we go. We'll make that trip again more logs we'll run over I'll just put more cordwood on those carts doesn't really matter too much we'll put more cordwood on these and get some more firewood and that's just a temporary firewood depot I am gonna get rid of it once uh once I don't need it anymore, but I just have it here. I mainly had it for the uh, tier 1 porter, because that one I was constantly needing wood for. Now that this one has even more room for wood, I can probably get rid of it. 
I shouldn't need it anymore, but here, we'll just get these with another round. You know what? You know what I think we'll do? We're gonna load up those, and we'll tack them onto the back of this train when we take it back to the, uh, depot. Get a little extra profit today. So, this recording's already starting to get a little long. I've just hit the 20 minute mark. So, to save some time, I will, uh, jump off, finish loading these, and I will come back once we have a loaded train and we can do the coupling process to the cordwood cars. So, uh, alright guys, I will see you once we have a loaded train. Alrighty guys, we are back. As you can see, I just finished loading the last log onto the last cart. And I finished loading all the cordwood over here on those carts. So we are clear to back it up past the switch, shunt in, and take these carts. So let's do it. Pull this back right here. We're gonna need a little extra on that because we have a full train now. Let's go. Bell, cylinder cocks, and a little bit of that, and then release. A little more throttle, and we should be good to go. There we go, nice loaded log train. I love it when it's fully loaded, it looks so good. Keep that bell going. We can cut the cylinders, and we should be good. The little slope here will help give us some more momentum, so we should be good. <coughs> Excuse me there. Uh, cut the throttle back a little bit, because the slope's doing most of that work. And we'll be good. we got to pull past the switch. We'll couple up to those other cars, and we'll be good. Right. And we can cut throttle. I don't know why, whenever you look away, the bell stops ringing. I'll be close. I think that should do it. Stop that. Now we gotta jump onto these. This is why I normally don't shunt couple very often. Oh wow, that was perfect. Look at that. Pro Railroader right here. Fish it tracks. We could shunt it. Okay, that one already has the... Uh, Thing. And I believe the ones back there already have that too, so we'll remove that. But now, uh, the brakes off on that right. Yeah, good. No train brakes. It's just loco. So we'll shunt this back, pick up the cordwood cars, and we'll take this down to the freight depot and we'll end off the episode. This has been a very productive episode one. I hope you guys have been enjoying it as much as I love playing it. I'm going to keep this series coming. It looks like a lot of fun. Ah, brake too soon. Uh, there we go. Reverser first. Then cylinders, then throttle, then whistle, then brakes, and now we're gonna go. There we go. Now we're good to go. Take this down, grab the cordwood, and all in a day's work. I can't wait for them to add day-night cycles, that'll be so nice when day-night cycles become a thing at some point or another. I know that'll eventually come to the game, I just don't know how sooner or later it'll be. But I'm sure that'll become a thing. Uh, turn off the cylinders. There we go, a little throttle, we don't need too much, because there's still a slight slope at the end of this side too. So we should be good to just push. stop that. We should be good there. I can just jump off the trestle at this point. Doesn't matter. Fall damage isn't a thing. I gotta make sure that this switch is set. It should be because the other one hasn't been finished yet. It's aligned. 
Does this one have couplers on it? Uh, it does not. Okay, so good thing we checked. So add that, add a pin, and we should be good to couple to this. And you know what? I'm going to get rid of these trees because they block my view. There we go. Ah! Trees going flying. There we go. So this should allow me to do some switching like this much easier in the future. Get up on the cars, run on the logs, just like in those uh, action movies. Over here, and let's continue on. Here, here. And we should be good, and we'll get some bell action. Oh yeah, clearing those trees was a good call. And cut throttle, cut cylinders. Oh yeah, we'll be able to get a good spot here. I should just be able to take her in. Stop for a safety stop. See how close we are. We should be about a bogey. Yep, we got a bogey space. That was a good safety stop. And good. And yeah, I'm treating this like this was a rear railroad, so we're doing safety stops before couples and everything. I'm treating this just like I would on my railroad. App, hang on up. Oh. Throttle first, then cylinders, then brake. Because this is a slight slope, we we'll probably get that a little more on the reverser. Just to help nudge us up that hill a bit more. And there. How's that looking? That should be good. That'll do. Alright, so we should be able to get a clean couple. Oh, that was perfect. Look at that. Beautiful couple. And then bring the pin in. We're coupled. So I got to release the train brakes. So, handbrake here is released. Handbrake on this one. It's now released. And as you can see, it's going to roll out that extra tension. These guys are still couples, so there you go. So you just have to roll out that tension. So we are clear for a high ball back to the depot. So let's do it. Pass that switch there, darn it. There we go. High ball back to the depot. So reverse, or that ought to be plenty of reverse. Uh, yeah. Reverse there. Senator Cox. There we go. Headlights on for the back. So good, we can just haul this away. Cut off the cylinders and we should just be good for cruising. And we're good to go. So yeah, I like my little setup here for the log camp, but be sure to let me uh, know what you guys think in the comments, and uh, any changes or suggestions for it, be sure to let me know as well. I will definitely take those into account, but I think this is pretty good. So yeah, we're clear for a solid high ball back to the depot. Got a nice uh, view here out the back, and we're good. We've got plenty of power to hold a full train, just enough throttle so we have a steady speed, but nothing too fast on the trestle. Plenty of fuel, plenty of water. Uh, actually, better look at that water glass. Oh yeah, we're two-thirds full on the water glass, so that's fine. We'll probably uh, probably fill up on some water once we're back at the depot. I'll probably do that off camera. It's nothing too exciting. Working the water tower is pretty easy. But yeah, we got plenty of water, plenty of fuel. You know what? 
Probably should toss a little more fuel on there. Uh, release the brake here on this side. Fuel. Yep, looking fantastic. Release that brake here. Want to make sure we're slow enough here on this little grade because I know gravity's going to take over on this one. There we go. Plenty of throttle. We should be just fine to cruise down this. And we shouldn't derail on the on the trestle. I've done this several times. We should be able to round this turn with the gravity speed and we'll be just fine. There we go. Nothing to worry about. Hole number two here is doing good. Definitely worth the purchase. There we go. Alright. And then I know that uh, on lots of railroads when they're on trestle they blow the whistle. So let's do it. That feels good. I love the quilling. It's so fun. They've honestly, for this game only being out for about three weeks, this is amazing. For just, yeah, like 23 days now, 24 days of this game being out, it's extraordinary. I can't wait to see what this uh, game has to offer when the official 1.0 release comes out and it's no longer in early access, because early access as it is is just phenomenal. Hands down, five out of five stars. I love this. This is amazing. Kudos to the Railroads Online dev team. Absolutely amazing. Uh, so here's the steepest part of the grade. So we're going to put the brake on about half. Probably a little less than half. Keep it slow because gravity is going to pick up. Make sure that... Uh, make it through just fine and start letting up on it there you go a little little bit of break but still there as it starts picking up on the speed now we can put on a little more just fine there we go I've taken this turn at full speed with no brakes and haven't derailed so that just proves that I've done a good job so all right we got the switch coming up so A whistle for the switch just so if any if there were any trains that could potentially be coming on the sawmill spur they would know to stop because we had an, a right away coming right here so yeah in railroads we would blow at switches like that and in more modern day railroads there would also be uh, signals there so that the whistling wouldn't be as necessary anymore because there would be switches but back in the 1800s when there were no signals there they would blow at those kind of things just to make sure that they were aware, hey, switch is set for me, I have right of way, here I come. So, little railroad facts for you if you didn't know. And uh, we can, uh, a little more reverse or a little more throttle. And we can pick up a bit of speed here, it's all straight away from here. So this would be just fine. Give me that full throttle right here. Full throttle's just fine on this stretch. Full throttle. Get us down to that depot faster. I make sure that this stretch of track was nice and straight. Minimal turns. And we can cruise down it. I do have plans, since I showed off how to make the railroad crossing, I do have plans to put a railroad crossing around this area somewhere, and I plan to have roads using the, uh, the groundwork as a road slash walking path that goes to all the locations as well as tracks, just for some more decorational purposes. Alright, again. Cut throttle. Switch with that bell. I love how it glitches through that, it's so funny. Okay. 
pull that down a bit more. Put this on as we cruise up. And we should just be uh, set here. There we go. Alright. So we're just going to pull this. And cut. And cut. And there. And we're set and centered. Alright. So this should make sure that I actually... Oh good, yeah. Get that tension out of the line. There we go. So, right here. And I'm getting paid for that. Good, so the majority of that was on the depot. So I'm getting paid for that. Almost to $500. So that's good. And let's just uh, unload these. And then I'll do a run around here and we can show you the uh, crossing in action. So we'll just uh, right here. And that's giving me money as well. I'll just keep that out just to make sure. And right here. We'll get these unloaded. Then we'll pull forward again. That way we can unload the cordwood. There we go. So we got our... Uh, Logs nice and unloaded, almost to our uh, thousand dollar mark again, which is good. So with that, we'll just pull forward a little more. That way we can unload our cord wood. So just a nice, easy back it up. So right there, cylinders release. That's a nice, easy cruise back right there. Probably a little more on the reverser. There we go. Now we're moving. Just enough. Cut the cylinders because we're not going far. Cylinders are purely decorational right now, but I'm getting myself into the habit of using them because I know I'm going to. We can stop this about right here. We can unload these. Then we'll shunt forward a little bit to clear the switch, and then we'll do a run around. So we'll get this unloading. Come on, unload. There we go. Unload. Lots of cord would love that. So we'll be just shy of a thousand dollars. Perfect. Right. So we'll shunt that forward, we'll put on the handbrakes, and we'll be good to go. So, uh, good progress, good progress. This was a great pilot episode. So we'll put you in the forward. Uh, cylinders. Throttle. And then slowly break. And then a little more throttle, a little more reverse. We'll go full reverse. Just so we can. But because this is a slight grade, very slight. Cut throttle. Reverse or back into reverse. And we can stop it here just fine. And that's good. And uh, we'll put on these handbrakes on this end because I don't want to run to the other end of the train. There we go. So these handbrakes are on. We're going to decouple on the engine side. Switch is thrown. We're going to back up to the crossing. Probably back up just past the crossing. All right. Clear for backup. Release. Right there on reverser. And we're good. Slowly take her back. Cut this and bell. Right, and we'll go. And we'll blow our long, long, short, long. on the brake and as you can see we can roll over that just fine and dandy 
I'll cut that there. And see, the crossings work flawlessly. You can roll right over it, not a problem. And with that, we're going to throw the switch. We'll get our headlight back on. And Come on. Got to swipe it down super fast. There we go. Headlights back on. We'll run it around and we'll be good to go. Forward. Release. And let's go. Cylinders. Throttle. And we're good to go. go and the cylinders off and then that switch right there leads right here to the sand tower but that one's already set so I rarely need the sand tower so we are good to go and we're just gonna cruise right here and we'll throw the switch at the other end back it onto the back end of the train we'll end off the episode the way we started Alright. And we'll start stopping. Cut this. And we're good. Throw the switch. We don't need to throw the far one because the only time we need to head over to that side area is if we're spawning in some new uh, trains or carts. Well, I wouldn't really say spawning. Buying, I guess, would be the better term, but it technically spawns it in. You're spawning it in with money, I guess. Oh yeah, right there is the sand control, if you're wondering. So we can uh, get going. Love the animations. That bell is so well animated. back on that throttle a bit more and then we'll let her coast cut the cylinders if we coast and stop her here and we're good throw the switch back and we'll go in back for a safety stop and couple her up reverse Throttle, cylinders, release, and get her going. Throw more throttle, throw more reverse, and then we put her at full. Because this part is a slight slope, so. There we go, give her that power. Cut cylinders, slight on the throttle. And we'll back her up. Cut it. And we'll come in here for brakes. And we're gonna be perfect. There we go. Just enough of the safety stop. We're gonna bring. Ah, no. Come on. There we go. Lincoln pin. Got our safety stop. We can extinguish our light now. And we'll couple her up. And right here, we won't need any cylinders this time. And we'll let her roll right in. Perfect. A little more, just a little more. And we're good. And we'll, uh, just like that. And it's coupled. I know that the uh, couplers don't line up. I hope they fix that. But there we go. We are all lined up and we are ready for our next run. So that was episode one of Railroads Online. So let me get out of, get back into first per third person, I guess. Get back in front of Betsy. 
But yeah, that was episode one of Railroads Online. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to follow me on Twitter. Join my Discord. Those links are down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.